Hi, this is Dr. Tom, and I just want to touch base on a few things for the Robotic Hand STEM Challenge. So the materials for this are pretty simple. You just need a straw, and then you need a string. In this case, it's a little piece of braiding cord, but string works okay, and even pipe cleaners work, so, uh, work okay as kind of an inexpensive alternative for that. But what you do then is you take your straw, and you cut a notch in the straw, about a third of the way down or so and then after cutting that notch you go ahead and take a toothpick and you poke a hole in this straw with the toothpick right? and you jam the toothpick in there to kind of stretch out the hole a little bit and then once you do that then you take your string that's going to serve as the tendon for your prosthetic finger and you put one end of the tendon through that little hole and then slide it down the straw until it comes down, out the other end. And this is going to serve as your tendon and there it comes out the other end and then I can pull it and then what you want to do is go ahead and tie a little knot on this end of the tendon and then pull it tight and when you pull it tight then it'll actually bend at the joint just like a finger bends at the joint so if you kind of look at a muscle pulling on that tendon as it contracts it'll pull on that finger and you actually get a functioning prosthetic finger and the kids are super excited about that and uh, i think if you just create a prosthetic finger and then have your kids talk about prosthetics and the need for a prosthetic uh, hands and prosthetic feet and things like that it's a very very valuable activity but we'll show you how to do the second part too in just a second okay so during the second part of the activity what you want to do is you want to have your groups get together and combine their prosthetic fingers into some sort of prosthetic hand and that might uh, mean going from a two-fingered hand to a four-fingered hand even using a thumb and for the base of the hand or the wrist, they can use a toilet paper roll, they can use a paper towel roll, they can use a paper cup, uh, and to help attach it, they can use modeling clay, they can use masking tape or scotch tape, things like that. All right. This is very a very simple one done with just two fingers, but it actually worked really well and did a great job picking up a ping pong ball. Um, more typically, you'll get a hand that's made out of three fingers or sometimes four fingers and uh, cups work really well as kind of as the base or foundation of the hand All right. this one you can see is done with three fingers they got a little fancy and added some paper clips at the end of the tendons but you can see if I actually pull on the tendons All right, they make the fingers uh, bend and you get a functional prosthetic hand. All right? But I do ask that the kids actually can prove that it's functional. And so I'll have a bunch of balls around that day. Here's a little foam ball. And uh, you can get ping pong balls or foam balls from the dollar store. And they have to go around and work on it and keep working until they can get a functional prosthetic hand that works like that. And when they do that, they get really excited and really happy about their efforts. And I love this activity because uh, it relates to real life in lots of different levels and it's cheap and easy and fun for kids. So good luck with it. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye bye. <laughs>